Hello and thanks for joining. This is going to be the 10th Excel 2013 tutorial and today's topic is going to be how to do a VLOOKUP and an HLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP by the way stands for vertical lookup and the HLOOKUP is, stands for horizontal lookup. I wanted to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com all of these tutorials will always be posted on that site and they will always be posted for free. Here's some other links that may be of interest to you in the future. So I'm going to jump right in here. And what I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet with 10 salespeople. I have their quarterly sales for the year, quarter one through quarter four, and then their sales amounts per quarter. And I've come over here and I've totaled all of their sales for the entire year. So as you can see here, Mike has sold $107,244. Uh, and Bob has sold 74,118 and so on. So what I want to do is I've created a bonus column here and based on their total sales I want to apply the appropriate bonus. So if you go down here to this section of the sheet and you look at the bonus targets and bonus column what I've done here is I've just created a little table. I said between zero and $59,999 in sales, you get no bonus. However, once you hit 60000 in sales, you get a bonus starting at $500. And then every 10000 in sales, your bonus level changes and you get, for example, once you hit over 80000 80, to 89999 you get 2000 and so on. So in order to do that, uh, you could manually go through there and look and then apply the amount. But an easy way to do that, especially if you have a spreadsheet with hundreds and or thousands of uh, lookups to do, this could be grades, this could be bonuses, this could be, um, you know, whatever, whatever you need to look up. Anyways, what I've done over here is I've created a little, another little table. And you can see instead of having the ranges here, I just have the minimum value, then the next level, the second next level, and so on. Uh, and so how that works is um, I'm going to reference this table and I'm going to make a, a um, formula here. So my formula to do the lookups is called VLOOKUP. So I do it equals and I do VL and you can see it automatically finds VLOOKUP. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab and then it tells you what it's looking for. So in this case I have a lookup value. That lookup value is this is the value that I want to look up is the total sales and then I want to do a comma and now it's going to ask me for my table array. Well my table is over here. Excel is not going to understand this table down here because it's sort of, um, the way it's set up. This is more just to make it user friendly to uh, read it. So over here I'm going to reference this table and how I do that is I highlight the table excluding the title um, the titles on the table and I just click and hold my mouse I drag it I select the entire table and I let go of the mouse and you can see I've selected from K2 to L8 and now I hit comma and now it's asks, now it's asking me which column index number is it using. So in this case I'm using index here. I'm using the the second column in the table and that's the value that we want to look up. So I'm going to do column number two. And keep in mind that's not that's the column number of the table not of the sheet. Alright and in this case I'm just going to close out the formula because we're not doing a range here. Okay so I'm going to close it out with a parentheses and hit return and you can see Mike has 107,000 in sales, $6,000 bonus. So you can see the 107,000 is between these two values and so you can see Mike gets the $6,000 bonus. If Mike had higher sales, you can see if it had 118,000 it goes to 8,000. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I want to copy this formula down so there's one thing I have to do. I'm going to show you what happens here. If I copy this down, you can see what happens. I run into some problems here. So what is the problem that I ran into? Is you can see here in Excel as you copy things, it automatically increments the the um, row 
by 1. So here you look K2 to L8, and now you have K3 to L9, K4 to L10. So we need that table to be frozen, so or constantly referenced. So I'm going to highlight in my formula up here in the formula bar. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to hit the F4 key, and you see that puts dollar signs in front of all of those values. I hit return, and what those dollar symbols do, or the F4 key does, is it makes those a constant reference. So in other words, when I copy the formula, those references do not change. So now I'm going to recopy it down, and now you can see I don't get any errors. I have a nice clean report. Okay? Um, so that's all you have to do. So and you'll see here, this will dynamically update. So if I go here and I change this person to make, I don't know, 23,000 second quarter, you can see it automatically modifies their bonus to the appropriate level. Okay, likewise, if they don't earn a bonus, we'll change, um, let's change some of these here. 10,000, 12,000. You see their total sales are 58,000. They get a $0 bonus because they haven't hit this target. Okay? So that all this table here is doing is just putting this in more of a Excel friendly format in order to do the um, vertical lookup. All right. So another thing you could do is this here. This is a V lookup, meaning we're looking up this vertically, this table. You could do something called a horizontal lookup. And what I've done here, I'm going to delete that, and I am going to scroll over, and I'm going to show you what I did. I made the same table in a horizontal. Um, horizontally rather than vertically. So in order to do in order to do an H lookup, we do H L and there it is. I hit tab. What value am I looking up? I'm looking up the total sales value and I do comma. I'm gonna scroll over and this time I'm gonna highlight my table, which is now a horizontal table. And now I'm gonna hit comma. And now my index number is now what row of the table, and that's going to be 2. And I'm going to close out the formula and hit Enter. Okay, So it works exactly the same way, and I could copy it down. I could make this a constant reference, and I could copy it down. And there you have it. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for joining, and please subscribe. Take care.